Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good evening to you. God bless every single one of you. Y'all are great people. Uh, I have some updates as far as the Invest 98L, uh, soon to be Tropical Depression 30, soon to be IOTA. Now, if you notice, you see here, you can see the convection. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for rotation. And you can see in the last few shots, it does try and get a center going, but I don't quite have one yet. Now, you have spin. You can see on the lower levels, it does spin around on the west side. You do get rotation on the south side of the storm. It actually is getting better in the last few shots. You also got rotation in the north. The one thing that NOAA is waiting for is the east side of this mass of thunderstorms to get a rotation. It's not getting any rotation on the east side yet, so that's what they're waiting for. But with two-thirds of the rotation already happening, it's already begun. And just they waiting for it to officially to pull the trigger for the rotation. Now you can see the lightning and the thunderstorms getting created in the path where it's going to be going soon. You can see also they're moving south. It's moving away from Jamaica as the path was shown the other day that that's the path it's going to take. It is starting to get a south to a southwest uh, push. Now if you go into the wind shear, you can see in the wind shear that as it fights, here's our system here, and here's the wind shear kicking in from the south to the northeast and it's keeping it weak at the moment that's why it's taking a while to form up but when it does form up it will have it'll be little wind shear it's not heavy wind shear but as soon as it breaks free from that wind shear bam it's going to start strengthening it's going to start getting even more stronger as it gets away because this is very minor uh, wind shear it could definitely beat through that not a problem now as it moves to the west you will see that it actually moves over Nicaragua and Honduras, and in a five-day look, it's still traveling west. Now, if you go past the five days, you'll see it takes a southern uh, dash towards Guatemala, uh, Belize, the, the western edge uh, uh, of uh, Honduras. But it's not showing that it's going to be a Nicaragua, Nicaragua uh, landfall, even though they will get effects. It is showing that it is just taking a more of a westerly uh, push then keep going south and let me explain exactly what all that is now here's your 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 uh, guidance according to what everything is going on with this storm this is a new updated guidance and most of them do sure show that they do overshoot uh, Nicaragua and they start headed for Honduras even a lot of them show that it overshoots Honduras and starts headed for uh, Guatemala Belize Yucatan, even the H-Mon and H-Wharf show that it does do a northern turn later and it will be a problem for the Yucatan Peninsula. Now as far as intensity guidance, H-Mon gets really crazy. It says it has a lot of room to intensify and it thinks it's going to get all the way up to a Cat 5. Uh, H-Wharf shows that it would be around right the edge of a Cat 4, more like a high-end Cat 3. And there is another model that the CTCI it does agree that it will get up to a high-end Cat 3. But most of the models show that it will be a strong Cat 1 or Cat 2. However, H-Wharf and H-Mon have been the ones that have predicted hurricanes before in the past that no others have predicted the intensity. So we got to keep our eyes open. The longer it's over the water, the more stronger it's going to be. Now, according to the H-Mon, of what I was able to get, I wasn't able to get all the full hours because the data wasn't uploaded. But you can tell just what I have that it's already down to 958. And if you watch the path, it mo makes it more of a westerly push. It don't go to the south. It takes more of a westerly push. So it don't look like it's going towards Nicaragua and Honduras. As a matter of fact, some models show that it just skims it and goes somewhere else. Now this is from Tropical Tidbits. They had a little more... Uh, data uploaded and here, as you can tell there's no landfall it is still out in the ocean and if you see it it's a 936 already and 936 is strong guys and if this thing has a lot of room to still intensify it could get even stronger that's why it shows that it has a potential for a cat 5 now just to show you what it, what everything stands for if you had a 936 millibars it would be a strong cat 4 and you'd be expecting at least 131 to 155 miles per hour winds with 13 to 18 feet storm surge. So that's pretty extensive. It's, like it says, it's extreme. Now, if you take the GFS and you see what the GFS has as far as low pressures, 
It shows that it shows that it'll be a hurricane. It'll be a strong hurricane. It'll get down to 968. And then from here, it'll skim the edge of Honduras. And that kind of weakens it a little. And then it finally pulls it down to the south at the edge of Honduras towards Guatemala. Now, if you go by the GFS V16, it is hard to get the shot for, for, for the V16. But you do notice it, it does get down to a 951 uh, over Honduras before it gets moving. And then also it moves to the south and digs in. Now, if you go to the Access G, Access G is the one that really, that one in the Korean has the, the information that you would not believe. Now, the Access G shows that it goes down to a 957. You can see the millibars here. It goes down to 957, and then it goes oh, uh, past Guatemala, I'm sorry, past Nicaragua and Honduras. And then it takes a northern turn, just like the H-Wharf and the H-Mon we're starting to see. It tries to make its way to the Western Caribbean and get into the Gulf. And it does show that it actually beats through the high-pressure system and makes its way towards Louisiana. So, just saying. Now, the Korean model. The Korean model shows a little bit of wonkiness. Uh, <laughs> really, if you watch this, you'll see what I'm talking about. It makes a westerly push. It moves away from Nicaragua and Honduras. And then it starts going north and gets down to 957 with a minimum of 953 at that point. It goes down to 956 and then it takes a western push. And it also shows that it tries to beat through the high pressure. Now, according to the Korean, it shows that the high pressure wins and it makes a dash towards the Yucatan. But after the Yucatan, it gets back in a gulf and once again comes for United States. Now, when we look at the GEFS and see what all the ensembles show as far as low pressure systems, they're all starting to get into more of an agreement that these systems are not going towards Nicaragua and Honduras, that they're actually going towards Belize and the Yucatan Peninsula. Now, if you keep going, because that's six days, if you keep going, you will see within the next 10 days that we do have another problem coming up. And you do remember I did show you that the perturbed members show that we have multiples coming up this month, even with a bigger one after the small one. This would make more sense for the first one to be smaller and then this possibility that could happen. So we got to keep our eyes open, not only on this system, but whatever grows after it. Now, if you look at the 31 members, you will see exactly what goes on and where it is. Now, if you look at them, you'll see that most of them are in agreement. It will move below uh, Jamaica and it will start heading to a south to a southwest uh, push. But if you keep w watching them, they have updated. They, they are showing more information. Uh, a couple of them are showing that it will be a real big system that will be towards Honduras, Belize, Guatemala, towards that, that, that section of Central America. Only a couple of them are showing that it will be towards Honduras. But most of them are showing it will be in the corner by Guatemala and Belize. If you look at them, the majority of them. We have one that shows Nicaragua, but that is pretty much the only one that I can find. Here's one, another one right here. The rest of them show that it's Honduras, Belize, or Guatemala. And as we keep going forward, we can see exactly what happens. It looks like it's going to be maybe a Yucatan problem, maybe a Belize problem, maybe even a Guatemala problem. But it is showing that it will, there will be a curve after it starts going towards Nicaragua and Honduras and start headed towards the Yucatan Peninsula. So we got to keep our eye on that. Uh, this right here, this is the two preachers. Uh, I will put the link in the description. They have all kind of information about the mudslides that's been going on in Jamaica. And yes, this is a car buried in mud, guys. So I'm going to play just a little bit of it, let you see it for a minute. If you want to see the rest of it, the link of it is going to be in the description. That way you can see what's going on in the video. And this is going on like crazy. They have multiple, multiple video of this. A lot of problems that Jamaica is having with these landslides and these floodings. But I will put their link in the description. That way you can go watch it. But at the end of their video is the best part. They actually pass out Bibles to other people in other countries. Let them know about God and Jesus. So does this guy. If you do like the word of God, you do like the word of Jesus... I give this man all my props. His, his name is Philip. 
His channel is Torch of Christ Ministries. I will put his link in the description as well. He goes around to every single country preaching the word of God, blessing people in the name of Jesus. He does awesome, awesome work. I really would appreciate for all you that do believe that you go check him out because it makes me jealous. I wish I could go out there and go see exactly what goes on and preach the word of God myself. But I'm just like like all y'all. I'm weak and I'm, I'm more... Uh, thinking about taking care of my own family than doing God's work. And that's where we stumble, man. Believe it or not, that is a stumbling stone. So God bless you all today. Hope you all have a great night tonight. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button. If you hit that like button, I appreciate you even more. But I'd like to say something for everybody. And I know Jamaica, you can't take any more flooding, any more rain, because it is very uh, catastrophic, actually, to your island. But God is in control of this rain. You need to pray to God. He controls it all. He can save all. Amen. Now I'd like to, almost like a sing, but I'd like to speak to y'all. Proverbs 22. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and love and favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the, of the, of the froward. He that doeth keep his soul that shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old he will not depart from it. The rich ruleth over the poor, and the borrower is, is servant to the leader. He that soweth iniquity shall reap vanity, and the rod of his anger shall fail. He that hath a bountiful eye shall be blessed, for he giveth of his bread to the poor. Cast out the scorner, and contention shall go out. Yea, strife and reproach shall cease. He that loveth pureth of heart, for the grace of his lips the king shall, shall be his friend. The eyes of the Lord preserve knowledge, and he overthroweth the words of the transgressor. The slothful man saith, There is a lion without. I shall be slain in the streets. The mouth of a strange woman is a deep pit. He that is, is abhorred of the Lord shall fall therein. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. But the rod of cor correction shall drive it far from him. He that oppresseth the poor to increase his riches, and he that giveth to the rich shall surely come to want. Bow down thy, thine ear, and hear the words of the wise, and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. For it is pleasant, it, it is a pleasant thing if thou keep them within thee. They shall withal be fitted in thy lips, that thy trust may be in the Lord. I have made known to, th to thee this day, even to thee. Have not I written to thee excellent things and counsels and knowledge, that I might make thee known the certainty of the words of truth, that thou mightest answer the words of truth to them that send unto thee? Rob not the poor, because he is poor, neither oppress the afflicted in the gate. For the Lord will plead their cause and spoil the soul of those that spoil them. Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go. Lest thou learn his ways, and get a snare to thy soul. Be not thou one of them that strike hands, or of them that are sureties for debts. If thou hast nothing to pay, why should he take away thy bed from under thee? And remove not the ancient landmark which thy fathers have set. Seest thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. Amen. God bless you all tonight. I hope you all have a great night. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think this thing is going to be a, a HMON thing where it's going to be a possible Cat 5? Because I do show that not only is it going to a different direction, but now there's possibilities it can get into the Gulf guys and it can be once again a problem for the U.S. So God bless everybody involved, not just the U.S. Hope everybody will be okay. I know North Carolina, I've seen the videos, man. Y'all have some bad flooding going. God bless y'all. I'm glad it's just about over. Now we just need some drainage and some dry, some sun. God bless you, man. Y'all been through enough. Hope you do have power.
all glory does go to God. Amen.